Hello everyone, welcome to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, we will discuss about the signal representation in terms of the step function and the ramp functions. So first we will see how we can represent the signal using step function. Let's see, we have a given a signal with some steps. We want to represent this signal in terms of the step function. For that, we need to find out how many transactions are there. That means how many number of discontinuities are there. Okay. Uh, one discontinuity is at t equal to 2, other discontinuity at t equal to 4, the second transition at t equal to 4 and third transition at t equal to 6. Now we will check what is the amplitude just before 2 of the signal. It is 0. Just after signal its amplitude is 2. Just after time t equal to 4, signal amplitude is 4 and just after time t equal to 6, signal amplitude is 0. So that we observe that in the signal we have a three discontinuity or three transitions and we identify that at each time what is the amplitude value. Now we can as we know we can represent the signal in terms of the ut as a step signal. Now how we compute the amplitude of the signal for that we need to subtract the amplitude just before transition from the amplitude just after transition. So at t equal to 2 we can write signal u of t minus 2 and its corresponding amplitude will be 2 minus 0 so amplitude will be just uh, amplitude will be subtracting amplitude just before transition from the amplitude just after transition so we'll get 2 minus 0 we'll get 2 u of t minus 2 now we'll add and we'll check at t equal to 4 so we can write u of t minus 4 and amplitude will be 4 minus 2 that will be that will become 2 here. Similarly, similarly we will check at t equal to 6. At t equal to 6 signal will be represented by u of t minus 6. And its amplitude will be 0 minus 4. So we will get minus 4 u of t minus 6 if we add all of them so one addition will be here so we'll get final signal will be 2 of u of t minus 2 plus 2 of u of t minus 4 minus 4 u of t minus 6 so that we got now we can solve this problem in different way so starting its amplitude is 0 and amplitude is changing at t equal to 2 so we'll write u of t minus 2 and its step is taken here by 2 Previously step was 0, now step is 2. So previous now step is taken by 2 in positive direction. So we'll write here 2. Now we'll check at t equal to 4. We'll write u of t minus 4. And at t equal to 4, step is taken by 2 again. Previously amplitude was 2, now amplitude is 4. So this amplitude is taken by 2. Its amplitude width is 2 here. So we'll write 2 here plus 2. Now at t equal to 6, we can write u of t minus 6. And its amplitude is decreasing by amount of 4. So we'll get minus 4. So we are writing minus 4 u of t minus 6. So that way we can also solve. Now we see how we can represent signal using ramp function. A ramp amplitude is determined by subtracting initial slope from final slope. Just like the step signal. In the step signal, we subtract the amplitude before transition from the amplitude after transition. So we'll see at t equal to 0, we'll see what is the slope value at t equal to 0 now. At t equal to 0, slope will be 1 divided by 1 minus 0 divided by t divided by 2 minus 0 y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so this slope will be 2 divided by t here this slope will be 2 divided by t here okay uh, and here this slope is minus 2 divided by t And here after t slope is 0 and here before 0 slope is 0. So we have observed these things. First we have observed all the slope value. Now what we will do? We do some analysis. At t equal to 0 we can write signal rt. Ram function we can write by rt. Amplitude will be subtracting the initial slope or slope before transition from slope after transition. At t equal to 0, we are having some transition. We will subtract 0 from 2 by t. 
will get 2 divided by t here. So here you can see that 2 divided by t r t representation. Now at t equal to t divided by 2 we will see. So we will write plus r of t r t minus divided by 2 r t minus t divided by 2. Now what will be the amplitude at this point? So we will subtract minus 2 divided by 2 from minus 2 divided by 2 and we will get minus 4 divided by t here. Now we will check at t equal to capital T plus here you can see that the same term minus 4 divided by t r t minus t divided by 2 is slow. Now we will check at t equal to capital T because a slope is going towards a down but we need to stop at t equal to capital T. So we will write r of t minus t. r of t minus capital T. And just after transition slope is 0. Just we put transition slope by minus 2 divided by 2. So we will subtract this minus 2 divided by t from 0. So we will get 2 divided by t. So here you can see that 2 divided by t, rt minus t. Now if we add both all of these, so we are getting this expression. Here you can see that 2 divided by t, rt plus minus 4 divided by t, rt minus 2. So here is the expression vt, which is 2 divided by t, rt minus 4 divided by t, rt minus t divided by 2 plus 2 divided by capital T, rt minus capital T. So in this way, we can represent the function and slow any signal in terms of the ramp function. Here we have to re represent this signal in terms of the step signal as well as in the ramp signal. First we see how we can represent this signal using ramp function. Here slope is E divided by P. Now slope is handed here. So we consider slope is 0 here. Just we consider slope is 0 here. And at the same time, generally slope is 0 at the same time one step is taken by the signal that step is minus e. okay so this thing we have now we will write the expression first we will get r divided uh, first we will get e divided by t r t the second term we will get a slope is 0 at time t equal to t slope is 0 and previous slope is e divided by t so we will get minus e divided by t rt minus capital T at the same time at capital T one step is taken by a signal so that we can write by minus e u of t minus capital T that will be the final expression. So what thing is happening here? First slope is taken at t equal to 0 and its slope is e divided by t. Just after that slope is 0 at time t equal to capital T. So we will write minus e divided by t r t minus t divided t minus capital T and one step is taken at t equal to capital T. So we are writing u of t minus t with amplitude minus e. So here you can see the expression and one thing we know we can represent ramp signal RT by T U of T. We can represent signal ramp signal RT by T U of T because ramp signal is defined because ramp signal is defined for T greater than 0. If we multiply whole t by u t, we will get the ramp signal. So we will replace this r t by u t u of t and r t minus t will be t minus capital T u of t minus capital T. So we can represent e divided by t t u t minus e divided by t t minus capital T u of t minus t minus this the same term e u of t minus capital T. Now what we can do? We solve it and this term will be cancelled out minus e this by this this term it will be cancelled out. And we will get e divided by t, t u t minus e divided by t, t u of t minus t. So this is the final expression of the given function.
of the given signal using step function. Now we'll solve this problem with the combination of step and ramp signal. Here step is taken by one. Okay, here is the slope is zero. Here slope will be three minus one divided by two minus one. So two divided by one, it will become two. Here slope value is zero. Here slope value is one minus three divided by five minus four. So it will become minus two. Slope is minus two here and slope is zero here. And slope is also zero here. So we can represent this signal with the help of step and ramp signal. First, we can write at t equal to zero step signal. We can represent the signal by step function because what a step is taken here with amplitude is one. So signal will be u of t here at this point. Slope is two, zero, minus two, zero, and again zero. So at t equal to one, one one slope is uh, slope is there. And its amplitude is uh, its slope value is two, and previously its slope value was zero. So we will get two amplitude at t minus at t equal to one. So R t minus one. Now at t equal to two, slope will be so just before transition. Just before t equal to two, slope is two. Just after transition, slope is zero. So amplitude will become zero minus two. But that will be minus two at t equal to two. Just after that, at t equal to four, slope will be. Slope will be minus two. Uh, just after just at t equal to four, before transition slope value is zero. Just after transition slope value is minus two, so we will get minus two r t minus four at t equal to five. Just before transition slope value is minus two, and just after transition slope value is zero, so we subtract minus two from zero, we will get plus two r t minus five, and at t equal to six, step is taken, so we will get here. The amplitude is one, so step is taken by one in the negative direction. So we are getting minus u of t minus. C. So this is the final expression for the given signal. Thank you for watching this video. 